Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is your boy, The Chocolate Bay, you guys. This is going to be a quick video, as you guys what? I already know. I, I just want to pose a question to you guys. Do you guys think that Storm on the Road has dethroned Tasha K? And I just want to please comment below. Let me know what y'all think. But I just want to say this. When Tasha K started off, she was very humble. She was very eager, driven. Uh, she was very fact-based. Nonetheless, her mentee, Storm on the Road, has bypassed her. Now, please hear me out, y'all. I'm not going by so much by uh, clicks and views and numbers. But Storm was a very humble person. They have a business deal. Um, they've been working together over a year now, and he's doing a great job. For one, Storm is very fact-based. He uh, verifies his, um, his stories. He verifies the information. He does a lot of fact-checking. Also, he's, um, he's not fueled... I like Tasha K by lies and manipulation. Tasha K is fueled by that. She's fueled by clicks and views. She's fueled by money. And what got the whole thing popping was that uh, Jaguar Wright story. Now, mind you, Tasha K said she didn't want it. She wasn't interested in it. She wasn't. It wasn't her zhuzh. She didn't want to interview her. Mind you, Stormer wrote. He did the interview, and it skyrocketed. Even celebrities like Stoop Dogg was sharing uh, the post. They were commenting on it as well. Now, we all know from watching Tasha K, I'm not saying that I don't watch her. I'm not saying that I don't enjoy her because I do. Nonetheless, she's fueled by her ego, her ego, her ego. She has to feed, she has to feed that beast, feed that beast. And then you have a mentee like Storm Moreau, this quiet guy, get this big interview that she thought was going nowhere, and he gets 1.3 million views on that interview and a lot of others. And that, it pissed Tasha off because she was a golden child. Y'all, and mind you, go back to her videos probably like maybe eight or nine months ago. And uh, prior to that, Tasha K was getting uh, between three, four, five hundred views per a lot of her videos. Now, currently, she's her view, uh, videos range from between 40K to like her normal range is maybe I would say 145, 155. Tasha K isn't doing like she was prior. Her biggest uh, interviews was that thing with uh, Steve Har Harvey, Marjorie Harvey, that whole thing, Usher and Quintasia Sharpton, uh, R. Kelly and Cardi B. But Tasha K isn't where she was prior. And her ego is eating her up. It's eating her up because her mentee, Storm Monroe, has surpassed her. Now, it doesn't matter regarding numbers, but Storm Monroe, is a, he's a de decent dude. He, he facts check. He does his work. But Tasha K is dwindling down. She's dwindling down. Now, this is the same woman that said, according to her, that she does fake stories, lies. And you have this guy that you're mentoring that is taking a torch and he's passing you up. You're stuck, Tasha. You're stuck. Tasha is fueled by views. And she hasn't went viral, you guys, in years. But you have this guy that surpasses you tremendously. Tremendously. And I don't know how this is going to end out, but Storm Monroe, in my opinion, has dethroned Tasha K in a lot of ways. In a lot of ways. But that Jaguar right took the cake. She was adamantly about, oh, no, I don't know. I'm not going to deal with that. I don't want to interview her. Then she went behind his back, did the interview, and it was horrible. It was horrible. She verbally just came after a sexual assault victim, and she just tried to tear her to shreds, which is horrible and hard to watch. And I just couldn't even get through the whole, whole thing. But Tashke has fallen tremendously. And I just think for her, it's the ego. And it's like, well, how dare this guy, my mentee, and he's doing better than me. I'm the trendsetter. Tasha K thinks of herself as grand, grandiose. She's a trendsetter. She said people watch her for clicks and views. She brings the exclusive. But how did Storm get it? Storm got an exclusive, and that was eating her up, and it does. She went behind his back and got the interview. But people kill me when they say, well, it's business. Of course, it's business. I'm not saying that they're best of friends, but you have to be able to trust your business partners. I can't trust the business partners that might, you know, take money or that might not be forthcoming on deals. If I can't trust you, 
then it's no type of uh, camaraderie. It's no type of um, loyalty regarding that business aspect. It's nothing. If I can't trust you as a business partner, and I know you're going to mess over me because your plan or your side doesn't measure up to mine. But yeah, he surpassed her in many, many, many ways. And Tasha is not doing well like she thought. I mean, she was getting hella, hella views, you guys. And then even on, uh, uh, she has a Patreon now. Remember, she talked about Patreon. I would never, all these content creators begging for cash apps and super chats, I would never do a Patreon. I wouldn't, that's for people that's not making no money, according to Tasha. Now, she said remarks like that prior. And now she's sinking. She's not doing as well as she was prior. And Storm Moreau has a lot of ring, a lot of buzz in these streets. Even if you look at the views uh, regarding uh, people that discuss him, Storm Moreau gets way more views than Tasha K. You could put his name like in your title, and he'll generate more buzz, more, uh, more information than Tasha. She still gets clout. I'm not going to lie and say she isn't relevant. She is, but she isn't what she was prior. And it eats her up because her and Storm Moreau, people are like, well, they took a picture. Of course, it's for appearance. It's for appearances wise. Like they're still, you know, have a business deal nonetheless, but they don't fool with each other like that. And many of us know that they don't really. He doesn't care for her like he did before because he sees exactly who Tasha K is. It took some time. But it has came to the surface of exactly who she is and what she's about. She's about clicks and views. Her loyalty is to herself. It's not to anyone else but to herself. But he's dethroned her with his, the way he carries himself, you guys, his research, verifying sources, uh, not being a liability to uh, certain uh, stories that he can't prove or disprove. Now, according to Tasha, she says she lies. People send stuff to her DM. And it's, I guess you think it's verified. It's a verified source. But it eats her up that her mentee has came, be, came behind her. And he's getting shine. He's getting a pra uh, uh, the praise for his uh, interviews and his uh, the way he does his uh, lives and shows and feeds and, you know, his, um, his uh, slavery commentary. She's not getting that anymore. Tasha K, her views has, have dropped. They plummeted tremendously. And it eats her up that this, you know, I'm just saying it eats her up that this guy that doesn't have, like, to her standards, this type of personality she has, this glitz, this glamour, this huge platform. How could he come behind me and get a 1.34 million K video? And I can't. Tasha K is not as hot as she used to be. And it's sad because she has to clout chase off of Cardi B now. Off of Cardi B. She's not once what she was. And Tasha K knows that. And the best way she knows how to do is backstab. And who to? Storm Moreau. She knows she could get him. He's already dethroned her. He's doing much better than her in a lot of other aspects. Now, with numbers, he might not quite be there. But numbers aren't quite the measurement to success. Uh, success includes a lot of other things. But he's kicking Tasha's behind. He has more validity. Um, he has more. Uh, he's more credible. He appears genuine and honest and sincere. And Tasha K, she does not. She's she's sinking in these streets, y'all. She's she's sinking. She's sinking. She brings up Cardi B. She uses Cardi B for clout. Nonetheless, with Storm, I'm sure it has to be you know hard because you're affiliated with her. Just because she has. A lot of, you know, subscribers doesn't mean that necessarily she's the truth or she's loyal, she's honest. But Storm is seeing, he's seeing, y'all, what a lot of people have been saying for years. Tasha K, don't, don't fool with her now. Don't fool with her. But he's seeing, and he's dethroned Tasha K, in my opinion, regarding platforms. He's up and rising. He's continued to grow and thrive. And Tasha K isn't doing that well. And when she went behind his back and did that interview, that was a done dollar. Because business partners don't move that way. You communicate, you're loyal to each other, you get feedback and you know um, information regarding us, uh, what to do or suggestions, things of that nature, things of the sort. But Tasha K isn't like that. She was greedy. She saw a good opportunity. And she saw all the attention he was getting and she wanted that attention. 
and it's becoming her demise, her greed, her ego. Ego is a powerful thing, y'all. Especially when you think you the stuff and people should be grateful and proud to be in your presence. But just comment below, y'all. Do you guys think that um, Storm Monroe has dethroned Tasha K? Peace.